My name is Christy Johnson and I'm a park ranger and education outreach specialist. A lot of people are surprised that the Corps of Engineers has park rangers, but actually there's over 400 recreation projects nationwide and they are staffed by a couple thousand park rangers. Day in the life of a park ranger, going out in the field, patrolling the campgrounds and the day use areas. Sometimes we get to go out on the boat and patrol the lakes and make sure people are being safe out on the water and um, in the campgrounds you know, often we'll just make sure people are following the rules. I just love my job. I'm so excited to get to be in the outdoors and working with people, especially kids. This is just the greatest job. My biggest job that I do is assure that the generators are in the best condition that they can be in so that we have guaranteed power. The most challenging thing about my job is changing technology. Our powerhouses are an average of 50 years old, and as technology changes, we're taking out old equipment and integrating new digital solid state relay equipment. So learning old technology and integrating new technology is challenging. The working for the Army Corps of Engineers uh, provides an opportunity to give back to the community. I work for the federal government, and I work for the taxpayers. And so I'm a taxpayer myself, so I want to feel that not only am I doing a good job for myself at the end of each day, but I'm giving back to the nation and to the folks that are depending on the federal government. And I'm proud to be a part of that. My name is Ding Kwan. I'm a information technology specialist for the water control data system with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. My job is collecting data, water data, and project data on the river to put into a database. That database is used by regulator to manage the water and the project and the water for recreation and for other uh, federal agency and non-federal agency. We here in the water management office, we deal with real-time data. And so if you have a problem, you have to fix it right away. You can't wait until the next day. So it's challenging to deal with the engineers and the computer side to fix the problem. The stuff that we do is not very glamorous to the consumer, but when they need it, it's important to them and we provide that. It's an awesome job. My name is Edith McCann and I am a third mate on board the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Hopper Dredge Aquina. As a mate, we have two mates on watch at a time. The mates are responsible for driving the ship and running the drag arms, which are the two pipes that sit on the bottom and suck up the sediment off the bottom. My job on board the Aquina and what the Army Corps of Engineers does with this dredge is important because it keeps the navigable waterway safe. When I see a boat go by loaded with cargo, it gives me a sense of satisfaction because I know that without us, that ship could not come up and down the river and provide the public with the supplies that they need. My name's Ken Duncan. I'm an Environmental Compliance Coordinator with the Army Corps of Engineers. I oversee contracts for managing hazardous waste, asbestos removal, lead paint management. I work with a team of other Environmental Compliance Coordinators to make sure that our facilities remain in compliance with environmental laws and regulations. One of my favorite things about my job is working to protect the environment and really uh, make a difference by creating sustainable facilities that don't produce waste. The Corps is excellent on our environmental compliance record. We track regulatory changes before they happen, try to be on the leading edge of environmental compliance, and, and use best available technologies whenever possible to, to limit the impact our facilities have on, on the environment. My name is Mike McGee. I'm a mechanical engineer with the Army Corps of Engineers, currently working in the construction office as a project engineer. I provide construction oversight for contracts for our construction office. What I do is important because I know that electrical power is reliably provided to everyone and so when someone goes into their house and plugs in an appliance or turns on their TV, it's going to work. I am using taxpayers' dollars. We are paid by taxpayers' dollars. The work we do is funded by taxpayers' dollars and that's a trust that I, I feel proud that's been given to me, and I take that very seriously. My name is Mindy Simmons, and I'm a fish biologist with the Army Corps of Engineers. One of the key components of my job is making sure that the Corps 
minimizes the impacts of its operations on fishery resources. One thing that I think people don't realize about the Corps is that it's not all about concrete and dams, that the Corps actually has a large mission to help recover ecosystems. And that's a great thing about what I do is being a part of that, working with fish biologists from all sorts of different agencies in the state and in the region. I, I love my job, I do. It's, it's challenging, I get to work on a variety of things that you never know what you're gonna do from a day-to-day -day basis. And I love the fact that I'm actually able to make a positive change on the ground for fisheries and for the people who depend on them. My name is Naeem Nomi. I'm a civil engineer slash team leader. I work for U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and Construction Office. I'm involved in several types of projects. For instance, uh, we work on a project to provide recreation facilities for the public. I work on a project that enhance the environment. Uh, recently, I'm just almost completing a job building a small village. It's called Salilo Village. We built 15 new, brand new homes uh, for the Native Americans. So I, I work on a variety of, of, of type of projects. When we do all these projects, uh, that really makes me feel good that we are an organization that provides support for the nation. This is really very, very rewarding.